Today I'm going to get the, the gearbox and the engine out, but first of all I'll put the prop in so I can check out this situation, get some measurements. I'll show you this in a second, but I think I'm going to send this and the other prop that I've got off to someone and have two props made the right length for the job, all nice and serviced, ready to go. So it just seems like the safest option and probably the best option rather than making a spacer. So what I'll do is I'll show you this. Then I've got to try and put some oil in the crane so that I can actually lift the engine out because obviously the car's quite high up in the air. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll look at the bulkhead. So let's go. This is a prop situation. Got the uh, correct engagement up there. But this is not the correct engagement back here. It's exactly two inches that, well, yeah, it's pretty much two inches. I think definitely the best option is just to get a prop done. So I'm going to get some quotes on that in the week and maybe through work, I might be able to get a good deal. I'm not sure. Just have to uh, make some phone calls. So I'm going to get that out of the way pull the dash out, pull the box out. I'm probably going to go and throw a load of stuff in the shed so it's out of the way. And then uh, get the engine out. This is actually going to be test run number one on removing the gearbox with this bulkhead piece in and the engine, uh, the gearbox mount in from inside the car. This is how it will be done at an event. So. You might get to see me trap my fingers and stuff. Let's go. Let's see what it's like. Holy smokes. jack underneath just to help me. Don't know if it's going to help. Didn't need it. It's good for the back, huh? <laughs> Gearbox removal inside the car. That's going to be legit at Pembury when it's piddling down with rain. Sick. I like that. I'll give you a better look of the mount that I made. The gearbox cradle. Quite happy with it. Obviously needs a little bit more work. I'm going to um, do something with it to make it a bit snazzier, I think. Engine is solid AF. So that's the first time the gearbox has come out in a few weeks. And it came out really, really easy, as you could see in the video. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and um, put all this stuff somewhere so it gives me a bit more room. I'm going to keep the seat and the handbrake out. I'm not going to be able to sort out the handbrake situation without putting the box back in. But to be fair, I can put the box in by itself without the engine. And it will pretty much... There was literally like a couple of millimetres between this brace bar and the box, so it could just rest on there, that'd be close enough. Well guys, I got the engine out, filled the crane up with oil, which was a disaster at first, made a bit of a mess. But the engine's out on the floor. It's the first time the car has had the engine and box out for quite a while now. It's quite, it's quite funny to see how far back the bulkhead is and how big a hole I've got in there to be honest it's quite cool I'm, I'm loving seeing the car like this again with no engine and no box in there I think what my plan is now is to just get this engine put somewhere probably over by the anvil maybe cover it up and then I think I'm just gonna start welding stuff because if I just crack on it, it isn't really going to take me that long. Just get a load of stuff zipped up, 
Probably get the pedal box out of the way for the minute. Well, it's time to get some overalls on, get some welding done. RCD again? Why? Just got in. <sighs> oh, I'm getting too old for this. Time for me to call it a night and but here's a quick little update on what I've been up to for the last couple of hours so I've um, stitched this panel in stitched this seam in blew a little hole up there but I'm not gonna worry about it stitched this seam in welded the engine mounts welded a couple of little patches over there and then on the other side on the other side I've um, stitched you know stitched it across the top and down down through here you can't see very well because of the light just tried to complete some of the welding that I hadn't completed previous welded up. Oh, I've got some seams up there to weld pretty sure I've done one side but yeah I've got got a seam up up at the top of this bit of box to weld and then I actually started to make a template that I can transfer onto the panels I folded up and it looks like it's going to work so <laughs> hopefully it will turn out alright I've got to figure out what I'm going to do down this edge like really it wants new tubs doesn't it but I think I think this corner needs to be cut back a little bit maybe I don't know I made a little mistake with these little panels I could just make them again but um, this measurement is a hundred mil across here and a hundred mil isn't quite gonna make it all the way out to that panel so that's a little bit of a mistake there I'm going to have to figure out what to do there, whether I just make them again. Because there are only small pieces, I can make some of them again. But yeah, it's not been a bad, bad day really. Got quite a bit done. Oh, obviously, I got rid of the turrets. And that's another thing, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this seam, because it looks horrific. Whether I just cut a little bit back at a time and stitch, like, weld it as I cut it out. And just keep cutting back until you know it's something that I'm happy with there'll be a little step there that possibly I can make it look half decent and then in these corners across here I'm probably going to put some nice gusset plates in maybe with a dimple dye in or something just to strengthen up that area again and uh, this this piece here this is a hole in a wing and it's this section of wing rail so whether I keep that or not I haven't decided yet I originally wanted to keep it but I've got to try and make it look decent I could just I don't know I don't know yeah anyway that's going to be it for tonight I'm going to crack on with this panel work tomorrow hopefully get get some of this um, you know in the metal and uh, you see what it looks like so cheers for now and I'll see you in the next one